Hi everyone, Amy here, your English 121 instructor. I know that some of you are struggling with the formatting for the first essay, the summary, so I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial of what that should look like. So I'm here in Microsoft Word and I'm going to show you first how to do the running header. So when you're trying to put in your running header with the page number and your last name, just go ahead and double click in the top inch of the page and that will open up a new toolbar called the header and footer tools. This is where you can go to the top left and you'll see a page number button there. That's what you want to click on. Then select the top of the page and the third option which puts it all the way to the right. Then you can type in your last name and it will be consecutive on every single page and um, just look perfect for you. Then you can close the header and footer tool and it will put you right back at the top left corner of your regular page and that's where you can type in your name, your instructor's name, the course number, and the section number as well as the date. And in this case, we'll use the date that the essay is due. Then for your title, you want to center it. Um, you know, for example, we might do Dawn of the Digital Natives. And then I would move my margins back over to the left-hand side when I start my um, first paragraph. So in the article, Dawn of the Digital Natives. And I'm going to go ahead and get the publication information here um, from my files. I have it on the assignment sheet, so I'm going to go to my summary essay instructions here. Dawn of the Digital Natives from The Guardian on February 7th of 2008. Uh, Let me see, did I have the author's name right? Oh, sorry, Stephen Johnson, I'm getting confused. Argues, and then I would just go on to provide his thesis. Then, when I want to, when I'm all done with my summary on the next page, and you'll notice here my page numbers are consecutive, I'm going to go ahead and put the words works cited at the top. Go back to my left hand margin I actually need to figure out who is the publisher for that or what the organization is so I'm going to get a window open here I'm just gonna open a window in Google to try to find some more information about the Guardian. There we go. This is the website. And it looks like down here, the Guardian News and Media Limited is going to be the organization. And what did we say? 7th of February. 2008 web access date now I need to do my hanging indent and the way that I'll do that is I'll double click and highlight the entire citation go to my paragraph toolbox or you could get there by right clicking and selecting paragraph this is where I would do double spacing I need to do that as well but above the spacing section is an indentation section that you've just probably never noticed before. So we're going to do hanging there and it will make your indentation a hanging indent, which is what it needs to look like. And then you want to make the whole thing times 12. I'm going to make sure the whole thing is double. Okay, and that is exactly what it should look like. Get rid of any extra spaces. All right, so hopefully.